I don't know how people decide what to say at the beginning of videos like their phrase you know some people say hey guys some people say hi some people say hello some people say I'm back stuff like that I don't know and I feel like I'm probably the only one who's questioning it right now because I I overanalyze everything and it sucks but like there are so many YouTube videos like oh how to start a YouTube how to do all this and it's just like but there are no things on like the simple stuff like what phrase you choose on how to start your videos or how to stop being so awkward in every single video but it's so I'm doing homework right now well it's it is homework it's um I'm not studying I do online school so um right now I'm basically reading up to page 664 in my textbook for our literature and most people would probably just open the test and go back to their textbook this thing is huge and this is only part one um, and I still have another English class to take with two parts again with two books and a midterm and a final just like this one but um I'm actually kind of enjoying reading this and I know that's so boring <laughs> that is like I used to be such a student in in public school and I actually read my earth science textbook when I was in ninth grade so I'm pretty accustomed to reading textbooks and I s just I started reading the pages that they told me to and it's actually really interesting I'm on page 258 and I'm doing pretty good <laughs> I really um, my brain feels awake and before it didn't um, before I got to this English class, it really didn't feel very awake, like, because I was just doing other classes that I, not that I didn't care about, but just that I wasn't as interested in. Like, English is my favorite. Like, I've always wanted to be a writer, and that's not, um, but I'm kind of just making that, like, my hobby. So, it's like, I have my reliable, reliable number one career, as I've feel like everybody does and then I have my um my fun like dream career which is writing because uh, I like to write poetry and all this stuff because whatever that's just what I like to do <laughs> um but I don't know so I'm trying not to get uh Grace's picture in the shot like uh this is her when she was like younger because uh, I don't know she'll probably kill me if I do I don't I mean she won't kill me but like it's um it's really cute it's a really cute picture she has a little afro uh, she looks kind of like Shirley Temple which I'm sure a lot of people don't know who that is but we used to watch VHS tapes of Shirley Temple and it was my jam like I oh I don't even know but I'm in my study spot like I like I like to get out of my room for doing online school like reading this book <laughs> because I will get distracted and I will go back to bed and honestly this today is the third day that I have stayed up for you know a considerable amount of time <laughs> and I know that doesn't sound like a win but yesterday and the day before Monday and Tuesday um I actually stayed up <laughs> for two days straight and I know that sounds like okay like you didn't do anything serious but um when you're in high school you take a lot of naps most of the time when you're in any kind of school like you take a lot of naps I feel like and it's just because you're so drained and I'm just trying to get back on my route you know like so that when I do go to college I will be more prepared <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's been going okay I have been getting a few headaches though 
I don't know if it's because the season change or because I'm not adjusted to living an actual life. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, I still get out, but, like, yeah, you know. I actually like the alone time of online school. I, I'm very comfortable in, um, reading all this stuff, like, because I'm still, like, I always sit in the same spot and like my sister's at college right now um and she gets home around the same time every day and it's just um I just like it like so I just like it and it's I mean there are of course reasons why I had to leave public school and they're not for this video they're for another video but I'm just reading along this book. People at my old school are probably, you know, just like, oh, she has to read this huge book. Okay, honestly, I think the reason why online school is making me read this book is because I figure online schools probably want you to, they want you to have that high school experience, but no joke, in high school, like in high school Englishes, I took both honors Englishes for freshman and sophomore year and they were hard but we barely read out of the textbook like we been, we we ran out of time like we only read like barely anything like I mean we we had books we had certain books that we had to read like Lord of the Flies Animal Farm stuff like that we we ran out of time to read our instructed curriculum and I was kind of bummed about it because I had, I had ordered all these books and I didn't have time to read them and yeah, um, that's just the type of person I am I mean I could still read them on my own time but like it's not gonna be the same I mean you know when you're instructed to read a book you have more of um, a desire to read it or maybe you don't but I don't know like we read the Iliad which no, I swear I was one of the two in our actual English class that actually read the Iliad like and didn't just look up spark notes like I actually read the freaking Iliad and it was good I liked it and I actually read Animal Farm and I actually liked it I don't know what everybody's deal was okay but I know I know like you have to have a social life and blah 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 but it's a book like it's it's a small little book. Like, I'm reading this. Okay, but not to judge. Not to judge. I get that some people don't like reading. And honestly, I only get in this element of reading when I'm when I'm ordered to. Like, I have this bookshelf of great books, I'm sure, that I still haven't even opened. And I need to. Because they, I, they have great reviews. Because I always check reviews. And I want to read them. <laughs> but I haven't. But anyway. Um... I've been waiting a month to go to Ikea because uh, I've been waiting like I I really wanted to get myself a desk uh, for my room and um, I know my hair looks crazy like I, I pinned some of it back and it's like lopsided and whatever I cut it by the way like myself and I, I do that when I'm on spontaneous times it's okay um but I'm trying to grow it out okay so, yeah, I've been waiting a month to go to Ikea, and, um, the store is, like, two hours away from us, because, I, believe it or not, these people in California, Ikeas are not everywhere, okay? I just want a public service announcement that. They are not everywhere, and if you've never been in one, you don't know what you're doing, okay? There are no instructions to 
get through your Ikea, um, and people just say, oh yeah, it's a maze, it's, it's a maze. I didn't realize there were arrows on the floor until some worker told me that there were arrows on the floor. And, um, the arrows didn't help me one bit, okay? Like, there are, there are little, like, they look like factory doors. There are little gray doors that you can go through and take shortcuts. I didn't know. Like, I didn't know until a worker told me that I could actually go through those doors. Uh, and then, um, so we literally walked around all of Ikea, the entirety of Ikea, upstairs, downstairs. Uh, by the way, they have a freaking restaurant. Like, it's like a hotel, which nothing against it. It's very fancy. But, oh my gosh. They should have a map in there. I don't know if they do, but we missed it. Sorry, but um, I'm just saying, like, yeah, and n none of the workers actually got me to where I needed to go until, like, I was close to it. So, um, yeah. Thank you to that one that got me to where I needed to go. I literally had the items that I wanted on my online app like on my online thing I had what I wanted on there and I guess I already knew the bid numbers and everything technically speaking so I literally just had to go to the warehouse I didn't know there was a warehouse I thought the whole store was where you picked up your stuff no the whole store is like a catalog set up you literally are walking through, and it's like, oh, can you pick this up? No, you can't. It's just, it's just for props. And then you take a picture of it, and you go to the warehouse. You don't even have to go through that catalog spot if you have your stuff planned out online. Ugh, it set me off because I thought it was never going to end. We wasted so much time in that place. <laughs> Okay, but it's okay. Like, we, we got our stuff together. And a lot of people helped us, like, load the stuff onto the little cart thing. Um, so that was nice. And then some people even helped us load the stuff into our car. And that was nice, too. And then, um, we were basically just exploring the town that we were in. And it was beautiful. It was a beautiful town. Um, uh, very colorful. It kind of reminded me of another town, like, but bigger, that we're around.
I went into this used bookstore, uh, and the owner was this little, was this old man, and he was so nice, and he, I, I noticed when I was about to leave that he had a cat in there, and I was just like, oh, you have a cat, and he was just like, yeah, and I was just like, she's behaving really well, and he said, this is her home, and it was so cute, and her name was Dina, and she was a gray cat, like a gray short-haired cat, and then he asked me if I had a cat, and I showed him charcoal, and he was just like, oh, that's a long hair, I was just like, mm, yeah, it is, and then he said, I have two more cats in here, but they like to hide in the books, and I was just like, that was so cute, oh, god, it was the cutest thing, like, I've never actually seen cats, like, living in a bookstore, and I thought, like, that is the best thing like you honestly that sounds like a really cool thing like I've always I feel like I've heard of cats living in bookstores before but like maybe in a book not like in real life and I it's I don't know it was so, it was so cute and then we went to Buffalo Exchange which is like a better version of Plato's Closet and like I don't have anything against Plato's Closet but like I really like I really like them both. It's just Buffalo is better, in my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinions. But, um, so I got, oh my gosh, so I, I was trying pants on in the dressing room, and I was just, I tried this one pair of pants on, and I was just like, Mom, if I gain one more pound, I'm not going to be able to fit these, because <laughs> I, that's how I felt but they were beautiful pants I really liked them and then this one really nice girl beside me got out of her dressing room and she was just like oh my gosh those are fabulous she was just like they are beautiful they look so good on you you have to get them and I was just like there is good in the world you know and I ended up getting them like they are so they are really nice pants I really like them and then I got this I found this blue dress that I really liked and um yeah that was all I found but like I sold some stuff too we went to a pizza place that had really good ratings but mom didn't like the pizza she got She didn't like the pizza she got at all and she was complaining about it the whole time like not to the waitress but to me and I asked for a recommendation because I'd never been there before and mom hadn't either I I'm not ashamed to ask a recommendation uh, and I ended up getting this bomb lasagna and um, a garlic knot oh my gosh it was so good <sighs> yeah. I was living off of that lasagna for about like at least two days because uh, I don't even know like I cut it I cut it by like fourths and just eating a fourth of it I was stuffed like I don't know if there was fiber in that lasagna but like yeah it was some good stuff and um yeah that was oh we also went to Krispy Kreme uh because mom had to have her donuts at home and the hot light was on oh my gosh those were actually the best donuts I ever had at Krispy Kreme like they're normally really good but like these were so good oh my gosh oh and we also went to get to Rita's because I really wanted some frozen custard Oh my gosh, it was so good. Like, I don't, frozen custard, it tops ice cream. Like, it does. I, um, I got a swirl of the chocolate and the vanilla, and then I got wet walnuts on it and whipped cream and a cherry. But next time, I'm just going to get the vanilla and maybe some whipped cream because the toppings kind of like, they kind of just distracted you from the custard. Like, the custard was better by itself. It was like you were eating a cloud, and I was so happy about it. I was so happy about it. Um, but yeah. And I have counseling today. So yeah. 
I'm also trying to figure out college stuff of course I have five colleges that I'm looking at and then I have a top one in that five and I'm looking at early admission for that main college that I want to go to and if I don't get into early admission um, then I mean that's fine like I'll apply for regular in January um, but yeah so I'm not like too too worried about it but I am like obviously because it's college but yeah so and then I'm so I'm looking at grants and I'm looking at scholarships and you know that kind of stuff so yeah I'm doing all this stuff <laughs> and I'm still Christmas shopping I'm still Christmas shopping uh, I don't know I'm, I'm so freaking excited about it yes I am still Christmas shopping I am I wouldn't say I'm getting down to the wire about it like um it's just like I feel like I have everything together um I mean by that I mean a list of everything that I am still on the lookout for to get I know exactly what I'm getting people I think except for maybe one more person uh one more thing for that person and then I feel like I'm finished like with the list at least and then I have to just get this stuff um but it's been a lot of money it's obviously it's been a lot of money it's been a lot of paychecks and it's been a lot of fun though I um I've been I've been having fun like of course my mom you know she's she's been like well Molly I don't want you to spend too much money like because you know she's worried about me and everything with this whole aspect but I'm like I don't know I don't know like I really wanted to go all out this year and do a lot and I feel like that's what I'm doing so and then years to come obviously I really won't be able to go so far because of you know student budget and everything but and I'm still on a budget but you know what I mean so I'm just excited and here in this book I read um I've read so many cool things in this book like okay I've read the Declaration of Independence I've read so many things in this book and um it's just it's all spread out like it's so nice like okay um so one, uh, I read Poor Richard's Almanac. What I was looking for was in the autobiography of Ben Franklin. But Ben Franklin wrote both, obviously. So, um, one of the things was uh, frugality, make no expense but to do good to others or yourself, i.e. waste nothing. And that, um... That was, I, I don't know, like, I feel like that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I definitely, I definitely would recommend reading the autobiography of Ben Franklin. I think I just read, like, a little part of it that the book gave me to read, but it is so good, like, oh, I don't even know. I just... It, it was really good um I think that that is it I am probably going to work on more homework meaning I'll just be reading this book until I can take the exam and then um reading more to take another exam and then I have an essay to write and then I have a midterm to do and then I wait for the second book to get her.
so yeah okay that is all sorry I looked like a mess in this I mean what does anybody look like at home I don't know that is it I think I'll go ahead and show you the setup of where I'm sitting because it's beautiful as always okay so like and subscribe if you would like to and um, have a good week or day or whatever you want to have Okay, um, that's it.